that I hopefully don't actually have to pay for. Okay, let's start by going over our current situation. Many details were foggy in the CGF's initial reports. We knew about the string of monster attacks, but not much more. Joke's on you, I don't even have 5,000 Mira. I am so poor. Fortunately, our investigation shed light on many of those points. But there's something we don't know that by all rights should have become clear by now. Really? What are you talking about? Oh god, I have to actually make a decision. Um... We still don't know the motive. We still haven't determined one of the key things detectives look for in investigation. The monster's motive. Yeah, that's a good point. Considering what happened at St. Ursula, it doesn't seem like they're doing all this out of hunger. And according to our Morica Village's chief, there's a possibility that all of these attacks are a warning from the Divine Wolves, but it's more likely that those Black Wolves are our culprits. Yes, I agree. The attacks don't fit a wolf's typical behavior, so it makes sense that we have been unable to determine a motive. Still, it's too early to conclude that the wolf's attacks don't have a reason behind them. In the case of the hospital attack, the wolves had to take an especially complex route to get to the rooftop. Yeah, I, I don't think an actual animal is bothering with that. Further, it's strange how they only lightly wounded the victim before leaving. That is peculiar. It's clear that the wolves' movements and actions are too meticulous to simply be on a whim. I get it. So you're saying normally we should have been able to figure out their motive by now. But the fact that we haven't is a clue in itself, yeah? Exactly. Sure, that's definitely why I picked this option. In cases like this, it's possible to get stuck thinking a certain way. Looking at all the various attacks by the Black Wolves, if we want to find a motive that makes sense, we'll have to look at things from a different perspective. How so? It's actually pretty simple. Generally, crimes consist of four aspects, culprit, motive, means, and results. I think it's possible we might have some things in the wrong places. Wait a second. I will write these out for us to see. Culprit equals black wolves. Motive equals unknown. Means wolves' abilities. Result, property damage and or injuries. Yeah, that's the gist of it. And you're saying that these ain't in the right spots. Well, how about this? Which one corresponds to the culprit? Unknown. Which one corresponds to the motives? Oh, I think I've already messed up. Can I go back? No. What happens if I guess wrong? I don't think I've ever actually guessed wrong. Which one corresponds to motive? We're, we're staying unknown again. Means. Black wolves. Results. Property damage. No, that doesn't work. Oh, okay. Okay. It just lets me go again. The culprit. The game corrects me. Okay. Dude, I don't know. Black wolves. Motive. Property damage. Means. Wolves abilities. Results. Unknown. I... Why do you suck? Unknown. 
motive. They want to damage stuff. I mean, realistically, the motive is because they want to make money by damaging property. Wait, so maybe the property damage is the means. Sure, did I already guess wrong for the first one, though? Do I need to clear through this and go back to the first selection? Say unknown. Yeah, let me get back to the... Um, Sure, so that we don't have to sit through me doing this a million times. The culprit is the Mafia. I don't understand why it's not giving me that as an option. It should be obvious at this point. Ah. Motive. The unknown factor is the motive. We know who is behind it, but the group does not. But didn't he say that everything should be in a different order from what Ellie laid it out as? Wasn't motive still unknown for her? Did the game literally want me to say the same thing as what Ellie said? No. What the heck? Oh, he's just going to do it on his own. Fantastic. Culprit unknown. Motive wolves ability means black wolves. Why is the motive the wolves abilities? This, it's fine, Tauxes. This does not make any sense. The motive is not the wolves abilities. Okay. I never would have put wolves' abilities as... Okay. The motive. I'm going to attack this village because wolves can hurt things. That doesn't make any sense. Rather than the wolves being the culprits. They're the means, and using the wolves' abilities was the motive? Whoa, Lloyd. You completely flipped the case on its head. I disagree. So you're thinking that people are behind the attacks after all? Maybe I'm dumb, or maybe this just doesn't translate well. If they're able to control the wolves, it's natural to think so. Our only problem is not knowing how exactly they're able to do that with the whistling that the blind girl heard. That's because that's the order that made sense, Talxes, so your mind just corrected it so that it actually made sense. Luckily, we have a particular statement that can help us guess their method. From someone we talked to? Yeah, the blind girl. Oh, I think I know. You picked up on it too, Randy? You see, that statement came from Shizuku, right? Her name was Shizuku? Yeah. Had to make sure I remembered Arios' last name for a second there. The Divine Blade of Wind's Daughter will be key to cracking this case wide open. Well, I was curious what was happening, so I opened the window and listened very carefully. 
I didn't hear any screams, but I did hear something that sounded like heavy breathing. Then after a few minutes, I suddenly heard a thumping sound, almost like someone was jumping. Oh, and there was one other thing. There was one more sound I thought I heard as all those other sounds were happening. It was kind of like a faint whistling coming from somewhere in the distance. Hold on. Was that whistling how they controlled the wolves? Yeah, I think it's likely. Wolves are quite similar to dogs. Their ears can pick up frequencies that the average human ear cannot. Special whistles have been made to exploit that for a while now. Shizuku is a dog, confirmed. <laughs> Maybe that's why I like her, because she's secretly a dog. Shizuku is the wolf. Now we know. So our culprits are using a dog whistle then. There are some people out there that use dog whistles to control military warhounds. Though armies don't usually bother with them, it's mainly just Jaegers. I see. Interesting. I think I'm starting to see the dots connect. If this was their means, they'd need a way to move the wolves between the different attack sites. Wait, did they... That's right, remember the van we saw earlier? The van that had ears? They're dog ears, not cat ears. Now we know. Branding is important. I can't say it was the same one necessarily, but it certainly looked like a perfect fit for the job. It seems we finally connected the dots. Their motive must have been to monopolize the septium industry. Now maybe that was just a bonus? That's what I'm thinking. Rache is going all out in their, in their efforts to shore up their power and resources in order to crush their rival group, Heiyu. They may have been planning to use these trained wolves as one of the weapons in their fights. So this was the perfect chance for them to test out their new attack dogs. If they didn't follow orders, they'd be useless when it came to the real throwdown. That's the truth behind all of these different attacks, ain't it? Yeah, I have no doubt. Isn't it strange in the first place that the Mafia showed up offering Mains their protection right after the CGF withdrew? The order to withdraw came straight from the CGF commander, and he's said to have ties to a member of the Diet. Ah, so both the commander and the Diet are all partnered with the Mafia. Given that Ravache has so much of the diet in their pockets, it's not hard to think they collaborated on this entire thing. Yes, that very well could be. I knew there was corruption in the diet, but to think they'd actually go this far. How much further do they plan to take this, I wonder? Considering they've already conducted their combat tests, you'd think that'd be enough. However, the fact that they showed up here after the CGF left strongly implies they're still planning something. But their actions this time seem needlessly ambitious. They've gotten greedy and have started to overreach. They're thinking about the exclusive trade deal for Mains' Septium. If that is their goal, they will very likely orchestrate at least one more attack, correct? Which is why we're here in Mainz tonight. Everything makes sense. Judging by our past encounters with Rivace, I'd say you're spot on there, Teotot. When is he going to give Lloyd a cute nickname? Lloyd deserves a nickname, too. I just don't know what you'd rhyme his name with. If there's going to be another attack, when do you think it'll happen? Let's see. Tonight. We know that Mayor Vixen is probably going to contact the Bracer Guild tomorrow. If they really plan on following through on their threats, tonight is their only option. That's fair. I think Brandy just isn't trying hard enough, though. He was so creative with Mademoiselle. He could have gotten something. Well, that settles it. 
We're going to drive off the wolves and arrest the Ravache members controlling them, right? We must. There's no overlooking something this big. Should we contact the CGF for supports? No. If the CGF takes part in this, I bet the Mafia will get to go home scot-free, given their ties to that Diet member. We have to do this alone. Understood. If they appear, it will most likely be in the middle of the night, right? All the other incidents have occurred late into the night, so that would be a safe assumption. We still have some time left before dark. Shall we make our preparations? If we're running short on supplies, we should take care of that first. Oh, thank you. Once we're done preparing, let's wait here on standby until midnight. When you are ready to wait for midnight, inspect the table. Okay. I have 11 tier bombs, 6 tier bombs. Let me... What do these recipes do for me? Who knows? Yeah, make one. Go for it, Randy. Maybe this will come in handy at some point. Oh, it does tell me. Restores 30% HP and strength plus 25%. That's so nice. Oh. Did not mean to exit. Randy, you are going to make this until you make the good one. Elegant steak. Restores 50%. That is useful. Okay. Let's do this one. Go for it, Tio. Deluxe beef stew. Yeah, I did not expect the um, HP restore and the like 25% buff. That's really nice. I keep accidentally exiting out of that. Insufficient. Oh, I need more crying onions. Rip. I can make one sandwich though. Cures faint or poison. I don't know that I really need that. I need more recipes. Yeah. I definitely want to make sure I have more Tira Balms. And I apparently need more crying onions, as it turns out. And maybe more steak. Okay, how many of these do I have? Give me two more. Yeah. And then let's go to the bottom. Marbled steak. Give me four of those. Crying onions are so cheap. Give me ten of those. Okay. Well, just don't mind me cooking in the middle of your store. It's fine. Everything is fine. Tio, make the good one, please. Thank you. What does that do for me? Cheers, freeze, restore 50% HP. Defense plus 50%, that's so nice. Sell expensive food. You do make profit out of them. Ooh. That's smart. I'm probably going to need to do that if that works in this game too. Because I clearly am poor. Okay. 
I'm going to save before I interact with the table. Nah, it's fine. I might mess around with it later. Although, honestly, any food I make, I probably need to keep to prevent myself from dying. Can I rest? No, I can't. Why are you so low? I would like for you to all be at full. Okay. Save me. And then we will inspect the table. Okay. Yeah, let's stay up until midnight. All right, if we're ready, let's stand here until midnight. We still need to decide on our strategy for when the monsters show up. So you think simply driving them away from the town will not be enough? No. No, I don't. Right. We also have to corner the mafia goons who are pulling the strings. This mission's starting to sound a bit trickier than we thought. 